What if I told you a tooth infection almost ended her life? A healthy 29-year-old architect walks into the emergency room short of breath, no past medical conditions, no red flags, until her brain started to fail. You think you know what's coming, but trust me you don't. Yasmin, 29, single, a hardworking architect known for handling intense pressure. She came to the emergency room pale, clutching her chest, barely able to finish a sentence. My heart, it's pounding, I can't breathe, my chest hurts. Vitals? Fever 38.9, heart rate 130, respiratory rate 28, blood pressure 90 over 55, oxygen 88%. She looked scared, she was gasping for air, and her chest pain worsened with every breath. Classic suspicion, pulmonary embolism. We ran tests, ECG, sinus tachycardia, D-dimer, elevated, blood gas, hypoxia. We started oxygen, IV fluids, inoxaparin, but then, something strange happened. Six hours later, confusion set in. She started saying random words, didn't recognize her mother. Her mental status was crashing. Pulmonary embolism doesn't do that, not like this. So we did an MRI brain, and that's where everything flipped. Multiple small foci of restricted diffusion in the brain, microinfarcts from emboli. But from where? We scanned her lungs, saw the embolism, yes. But now her brain too? I looked at her hand and on her nail a faint line. A splinter hemorrhage. That's when it clicked. I asked her family, did she see a dentist recently? Yes, about 20 days ago, she had a toothache, got it pulled, dentist said it was just an abscess. An abscess, while febrile, and now she's showering emboli? There was only one thing it could be. Blood cultures positive for streptococcus viridens, echo, vegetation on the mitral valve. Final diagnosis, infective endocarditis with septic emboli to the lungs and brain. We started IV antibiotics, anti-epileptics, intensive care. One week later she started recognizing faces again. One month later she walked into my clinic wearing black and white. She brought me chocolate and said, did I almost die from a tooth abscess? I smiled. If an abscess isn't cleaned out, it might just send a deadly gift to your brain. Lesson of the day. When a febrile patient presents with multiple embolic signs, always suspect infective endocarditis until proven otherwise. As clinicians, we're taught to think critically, that's why I wear this shirt. Made of unlimited differential diagnoses. Because every patient, every symptom could be a puzzle waiting to be solved. Subscribe for more true medical stories, like, share, and check out the shop to support future content and wear your knowledge with pride.